Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to work on an exercise that does two things. Um, one, it helps us learn the pentatonic scale, or as I like to call it, the money scale, across the entire neck. Um, and it also helps us get more fluid with our hammer-ons and pull-offs. So I view the pentatonic scale as kind of a foundational scale. Um, you know, it's really simple. There's little to no dissonance, um, and it's a safe choice when you're playing within the key. Um, so like for fills or for soloing, um, I use it at, to kind of build on, right? So I'll add chromatic tones, I'll incorporate the blues scale, etc. cetera. Uh, and you could even use these to add dissonance to your playing by playing them outside the key. As a side note, I'm planning on doing a video on the harmonic possibilities of the pentatonic scale. So, you know, going beyond just playing them in the key um, which will add a lot of interest to your playing. So look for that in the near future. Now, if you don't know the pentatonic scale or the money scale, um, I'll have the notes written out for you in the demo segment that's coming up. But I highly suggest you get familiar with uh, the scale because it will definitely serve you well. And if you don't already use hammer-ons and pull-offs in your own playing, you probably do. Um, I would encourage you to practice them and look for ways that you can include them in your own playing. You know, again, it's a, a technique that will definitely serve you well, and it's great for like fast runs or legato passages. Um, and it definitely adds another, you know, dynamic to your playing. Okay, so a little about the exercise, um, playing a G major pentatonic uh, and like, with my other exercises, we're gonna play it across all the strings and on every step of the scale. So although I'm changing positions, um, all of the notes that I'm playing is a G major pentatonic scale, all right? Which is starting and ending on different steps of the scale. And then practicing it this way will help you visualize the notes. You'll get used to seeing them as you play and um, you'll be able to see what's available to play, you know, across the entire neck. We're gonna hammer on as we go up the scale and then pull off as we go down the scale. And you wanna focus on making each hammer on and pull off sound as fluid as possible. I'm doing the demo at 80 beats per minute. I'm playing 16th notes. I'll have the notation on the screen in case you don't know the scale or how to extend it um, across all the strings. Use the notation on the screen to start slowly, learn the notes, um, and practice with the metronome. But the focus is to make sure that you're playing each note fluidly, and then speed up. Cycle through this up and down two to three times and uh, play along with me on the video or you can practice on your own if you want to take it slower. Uh, just make sure you're practicing with the metronome. Now once you've done these and you're comfortable with them, the next important step is to start incorporating the pentatonic scale and using these positions that you're learning in your own playing. So whether you're doing you know some fills or even some, some solos, you know, transition the learnings in terms of 
seeing the scale all across the, the neck into your own playing. As always, let me know if you have any comments um, or if you have any questions. I always love hearing from you. So that's it for today. Uh, please hit the like button if you found this content to be helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, please consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.